Sajigur has the best team of professional financial advisors, not just in Jamaica, but in the entire Caribbean. We're very proud of them. They are the best producing financial advisors. At Sajikor, we are proud of all our team members, but we're a company of excellence. So that's why it gives me distinct pleasure to introduce to you our top 30 performers for 2014. The executive club comprises the creme de la creme, the best of the best. They are the top 30 amongst our 400 odd financial advisors. They are the financial advisors who have produced the most annualized premium income for the year, have the best conservation rate, and have the best policy delivery rates. They really are the best agents in every way you look at them. I'm inviting you to spend the next half an hour with us, exploring exactly what drives these professionals, what makes them so successful, and of course, we couldn't do this without removing the screen just a little bit to find out what drives their success. Is it family? Is it friends? Is it sports? Just about every little thing that makes these individuals simply remarkable. The ideal strategic core advisor is um, recruiting someone who should have excellent sales skills, excellent communication skills, and excellent interpersonal relationship skills. You have to be serious about it. It is a profession, and you have people that come in it without that mindset. But if you're going to get into this area of work, this line of work, you have to realize that you are a professional. You are a doctor of finance and helping people to build their lives. It's really a rewarding feel because this is not something that you can pay for. Uh, people value your, your advice. Um, they know that your word is your bond. They know that integrity stands. As a matter of fact, I have a tagline for integrity is that I'm on my best behavior even when nobody is looking. I'm saying the things as they are even if I'm not under the microscope. So with that kind of condition, with that kind of judgment, with that kind of base, I'm able to deliver and I'm able to, to, to just continue a very good relationship with them while I deliver the product offering from Sajikor. When I just started this job, I, my manager, Mr. Jackson, told me a very profound statement. He said, most times persons don't remember what you say, they don't remember what you do, but they always remember how you made them feel. And any person I interact with, I try to let them feel special. I let them feel like as if I have only one client. Your concerns are my concerns, and I try to address them and in a timely manner. I do not disregard any client because of the amount that they're spending, or where they work, or what kind of job they do. I try to treat everyone as a person, or as how I would like to be treated. You have to have a people personality. You have to be able to relate to people. and. Um, even though I'm not the most sociable person, but when I'm sitting out in front of somebody, I can relate and understand where they're coming from. And I think anybody who gets themselves involved in this has to be able to reason properly and to understand and put other people before themselves. Many of my clients register me as a family friend. I am a generational agent. So I sell mommy, daddy, um, children, grandchildren, I am just there, I am a part of the family. I become an icon in the family because of what I stand for and the kind of product offering that I um, really assist in terms of the provisions with. There are times when I have to sit with my clients and I have to really show them that Life insurance is almost something that you can't live without. Life insurance provides cash when you need it most. Cash when you have a critical illness. Cash when you need money to send your kids to school, to that university that you have dreamt about, I mean, all your life. It is so important. With a stroke of a pen, you can create an estate with life insurance. It doesn't require you to outlay a large capital. 
a massage core executive agent. And I have been working in the industry for the last 23 years. It depends on the person you're dealing with. If I'm going to a farm to see a client, if I'm going on a farm to see a farmer, I'm not going to be wearing a business suit. I, I try to address my clients in terms of what makes them comfortable because different clients relate to different things. When you interact with these remarkable professionals, you find out that there are a few things that really drive their success. One is that they genuinely care about their clients and that is why they are so successful. They spend time with their clients to identify their financial needs and then recommend the appropriate financial solution. You have a responsibility to your clients. The confidence that they have placed in you to choose you as an agent, to choose you as their agent out of over 500 agents at Sagicor says a lot. So I try, I give them my best self. I try to give exceptional customer service. When I meet a customer, my main aim is to find out what is it that they need in their financial package. I want to know what is it that they have now, what is it that they need next. When you're able to identify what the client needs, and you, if you have that product with you, it makes life interesting. Because what you're doing, you're not selling the client a product, you are satisfying a need. When you work in an organization that you have so many people doing exactly what you do, it is not easy to, to differentiate yourself or to make an impact. But I have found that just being authentic, being myself, I pride myself in the relationships that I'm able to build with my clients. And when you value relationships, you do right by those relationships. And when you're doing right, you find that it is so easy for people to gravitate towards you. And when, when that happens, I'm able to get good results and it allows me to make the impact that I desire in this industry. For persons who work with Sadhguru, it is filled with excitement, it, it has enthusiasm, um, it has uh, some teeth, it sometimes bites, but it is enjoyable. I don't believe I would find another career that is exciting, that is as pleasant and pleasing as working with Sadhguru. It is the best company to be with. The environment is a happy one. Persons are united and we all have a common goal. So it makes coming to work enjoyable. It is great working with Sagicor. You can be your own boss. You don't have to sit around a desk the entire day like a regular nine to five job. You can schedule your time. You, it's more flexible. It's a very interesting, very interesting um, opportunity that I have that I'm able to um, flex the hours so that the productive time can be achieved. It's wonderful. It's wonderful because it gives you time to spend with your family. It gives you time to do whatever you want to do. And it gives you time to organize yourself. You're basically operating a franchise of Sagicor, so to speak. So you get to um, choose the hours that you go to work, choose the hours that you're on the road um, servicing clients or seeing new clients. And um, you basically have the freedom to, you know, do as you please. But of course, you have to get the work done in order to succeed. Time management is key. And because you have this freedom, you have to manage it carefully. You have to make sure that you're actually selling during the prime time and um, just make the most of it. When you interact with these remarkable professionals, you find out that there are a few things that really drive their success. One is that they genuinely care about their clients. And that is why they are so successful. They spend time with their clients to identify their financial needs. 
and then recommend the appropriate financial solutions. I try to make a difference. I think as the legendary Walter Grant states, people by difference, not similarity. We have a great leader. We have a, a wonderful management team at Sajikor. I love my job. Whenever I'm with a client, I try and search or ask questions that give me an idea what the specific needs are and try and service those specific needs. In other words, my objective is to service the needs of the client at all times. The advisor should be adaptable, should be trainable. The competition in the business today is becoming so much more, hence the advisors will have to start to look at entrepreneurship as a part of getting into this business. Um, they should be sincere with respect to the product and the services that they provide for the client base and the Jamaican um, environment. I've always been a business-minded person. I've always had an entrepreneurial spirit. I've always been an overachiever. I've been um, termed as an overachiever on many occasions. I am not too far off from where I want to be. From I've been at school, I've always wanted to sell life insurance from sixth form. And it was my life dream to sell life insurance. The reason for that is that the, we used to have career talks and the insurance men that came to career talks always seen the most successful person out of all the people that come to the career talk. And that is what inspired me to come to the insurance business in the first place. I love my job. I love my company and what it represents. It's a strong brand. When you say Sagittor, in the society, persons gravitate towards it in a positive manner. So I love my company. My company is dynamic. My company is wonderful. Yeah. I never work for any other company. <laughs> Incidentally, my clients are the ones who actually give me the name Giffy. So it is very special indeed. What I'll say to people coming into this industry is that if you're a people person, it's for you. It's a great career, it's really, really a dynamic business. Successful advisors benchmark themselves against international standards. They constantly update themselves with the best practices in the industry. In our industry, the standard is a million dollar round table, which recognizes the top 5% of financial advisors across the globe. The biggest transition in my career so far has been making chairman more than once, um, which is a huge feat, and uh, also making court of the table for the million dollar round table, and being the only one last year in Jamaica to, to make court of the table. My colleagues and I have a very good relationship. We talk, we play, we mock each other, we jeer each other, we pinch each other, we encourage each other. I am famous to borrow a piece of dumpling from them or a piece of chicken. I borrow it from them and then I pay them back. Um, it is nice, it is nice. I, I really enjoy insurance. One of my favorite um, policies to sell is critical agency. And to me, critical agency is key in the sense that what it is really an income replacement if and when somebody gets sick. Because, you know, one of the worst things that can happen in life is to, to be sick too long and don't have any money. So at that point in time, you still have bills to pay. And if you, if you are sick and care work, you need some form of income to deal with these expenses. For you to be a good agent is not a mean call. It's not an easy feat. Because you have to go beyond the call of duty. First of all, you have to make sure that you develop self. So I'm at a point where I'm able to give to my clients the information, the knowledge base that they need so that they can properly make the decisions that we intend for them to make. We know that life is unpredictable. You don't know which of us will live till we're old. You don't know which of us will get sick along the way. You don't know which of us will die and leave our young children. I have seen where I've sold a life insurance policy to a client and after six months, they are diagnosed with a major disease such as cancer and they call me and they say, Marcia, I thank you. Thank you for basically forcing me to do what I needed to do. 
I am very good at putting myself into other person's shoes. I identify with each of my clients, and I think that's what makes me unique. I try to understand from their point of view, and also to address their needs. So when I interact with my clients, it's as if I'm a part of their family. I'm a part of their world now. I, I, I don't, when I approach a client, it's not as if it's another agent approaching a client, but they see me as someone closer to them, a friend, a family member, and that makes an extra difference at the end of the day. But it's not easy. It's not easy because you're dealing with people, varying personalities. We are in the business, even though it is important, it is not popular. We talk about debt, we talk about sicknesses, we force people to prepare for things that they don't even want to think about. So it requires having a personality that allows you to just see through the indifferences that you may get or even the rejection that you may get because you know that what you're doing is important and it must be done. I've been able to grow as an individual and it has strengthened me in many ways. When you're dealing with varying types of personalities and situations and your eyes are open to, to people's lives um, in a way that you never thought that these things could happen, every experience that you go through or that I go through, I try to learn from it, whether bad or good. And I have been through some bad times um, with my clients and I've been through the most, the greatest time when a client gets a contract or they get a promotion and uh, you know, you have different things make people tick and just seeing the, 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 the how humans behave and there's so much beauty in imperfection and perfection and I enjoy dealing with that on a daily basis. Another notable thing about these group of advisors is that they pride themselves on delivering quality service. They operate on the principle that they open a relationship, they do not close a sale. They know that delivering quality service will keep their clients happy and loyal. And our executive club members have been able to do that. One key aspect of the service delivery is ensuring that once the policy has been written, they can deliver the contract to the client. I feel very important knowing that when I sit with my clients, it's decisions that we're making that's going to take them to the next 20 years. Their children will use these decisions to go to university. They will be able to realize a lot of their dreams. So it's, it's very important to me. We have policies starting at as low as $500 a month. It doesn't matter what what occupation you are. The products are so tailored that every single Jamaican, regardless of your affordability, regardless of your disposable income, you are able um, to get a plan that can satisfy your need. That in the event of um, any eventuality, be it death, accident, disability, critical or terminal illnesses, then there is a benefit that is made payable to you while you're alive, and also in the event it goes to your beneficiary or beneficiaries. I'm a family member to my clients. I am a confidant and counselor to my clients. I am a financial guru for my clients. And some of, a good amount of my clients have said to me that I motivate them, you know, to do better or to strive for better. And that is all that I can ask for in life. I'd encourage anybody to jump right in. It's a wonderful career. <clears throat> there are no regrets. Once you're willing to work hard, you will see the fruits of your labor. You are treated well, you are compensated well, you are paid well. When you do a good job for a client, and when a client is happy, it makes you happy. When a client is feeling good, it makes you feel good. And so you develop relationships along the way. So all of my clients are my friends. All of them are important to me. All of them are, they make me who I am today. Well, I would say um, to myself, coming into the business, that I have actually achieved my objective, which was my main dream was to come into life insurance from, from six for me. So what I would have said to myself is that you have actually um, accomplished your, your objective or your dream or your passion. 
you know you're in a partnership and people are working together. So whilst I am helping them in order to prepare for their future, to create the future that they want for themselves and their family, I am helping the company that I work with, who is another partner in the relationship, and I'm helping myself to achieve those goals. So in my mind, my clients are my partners. Some of the relationship develop into friendships. I love Les Brown, and um, as, he, as he says, accept responsibility for your life. Know that it is you who will get where you want to go, no one else. And I believe in that. I believe that we need to take responsibility for our lives. I believe that we need to understand that the onus is on you. So whatever you do, it is on you. It has been excellent working in the industry for the last 23 years. I enjoy it so much. I don't, I don't even plan to retire. I want to say to all my clients, thank you for the trust that you have put in me. Thank you for allowing me to serve you. I want to say to my colleagues, continue doing well. I want to say to Sadhu you are the best company and God bless you all. And I'd like to congratulate and to thank the top 30 for contributing significantly to the sales business in the life insurance industry. They are a great set of people and they continue to perform year over year. Uh, we're very proud of them. They contribute immensely to Sajikor's success and to the image that Sajikor has. Um, their success is our success and we really love and cherish them intensely.